What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we take a look at 5 things you didn't know about the Rothschild family. Be sure to like today's video and to subscribe. Also comment down below letting me know that you subscribed so that you can automatically be entered into this month's shoutout giveaway. Coming in at number 1, we have they are actually the richest family ever. Back in the 19th century, the Rothschild family possessed the largest private fortune in the world, which is still the largest even in today's standards. However, due to the secrecy, it's hard to say exactly how much the Rothschilds are worth, and in fact, you won't even find them on a Forbes list of the richest. But some people have speculated that they're actually far more wealthy than even Jeff Bezos and that the Rothschilds are actually worth trillions. Coming in at number 2 we have where it all started. Ever wonder how the Rothschilds became rich in the first place? Well it all started with just one man by the name of Mayor Amschel Rothschild who was actually a court Jew from the 18th century. Mayer then became a personal banker for the German royals and state nobility and then went on to begin his own banking business in 1760. Mayer's banking business took off immediately and he quickly amassed a large fortune which him and his family used to open banks across Europe. Coming in at number 3 we have keeping your wealth. Everyone knows that one good way to lose your wealth when you're rich or at least a good portion of it is to get married and get a divorce in which your wife will take half of your money. However, most of the Rothschilds, like royalty, decided to keep it all in the family by becoming inbred and marrying their own family. That's the way that if a divorce would come about, at least all of the money would still be in the family. Coming in at number 4, we have war. For 12 long years, the Napoleonic Wars raged on in a series of global conflicts. However, near the end of the war, Nathan Mayer Rothschild stepped in and funded the British allies with $10 million, which would be about a billion dollars in today's money. Nathan then sold all of his British government bonds, making people believe that the British lost the war. Nathan then bought back all of the bonds and two years later sold them for a 40% profit. Coming in at number 5, we have Independence of Brazil. Brazil gained its independence in 1820. However, the crazy thing about it is, is that Brazil gained its independence because of one man, Nathan Rothschild. Because for Brazil to claim its independence, the Portuguese government requested that Brazil pay two million pounds. That two million pounds was paid by none other than Nathan Rothschild, in which people believed to have been nothing more than a loan from Nathan to Brazil. In which people speculate that Nathan received great interest on, considering he did help the country gain its independence.